subject English unit 3 chapter 5 liter by liter in last lecture I explain and recite the poem liter by liter and also I am explaining words with meaning now today we are doing next topic reading is fun in that reading is fun there are three question and answers that three question and answers I have written here so I will explain one by one. Let's see question number one. Name the tree that the acorn grows into. Yes, यहाँ पे आपको tree का नाम देना है जो tree acorn seeds में से grow होता है. उस tree का नाम क्या है? So I will tell you the answer. An acorn grows into the oak tree. Acorn means a small seed of oak tree. तो वो small seed है, वो बड़ा बन जाता है oak tree. Now next number two. What things does a seed need to grow? Yes, seed को grow होने के लिए कौन सी things need है? मतलब require है. I'll give you the answer. A seed needs water. उनको water चाहिए. Sunlight and soil and moisture to grow. I'll give you the answer. A seed needs water, sunlight, soil and moisture to grow. So seed ko water chahiye, sunlight chahiye, soil chahiye and moisture to grow. Grow means bada hona. Wo seed ko bade hone ke liye ये water, sunlight, soil and moisture की जरूरत पड़ती है. Now we will move forward on number three. How many describing words can you find in this poem? Yes. आपको ढूंढना है कि इस poem में कितने describing words है. Now I'll tell you the answer. Following are the describing words in this poem. Here I have written describing words from the poem. So let's see one by one. Little. Little के साथ कौन सा नाम match हो रहा है? Yes. Little acorn. मतलब acorn is a noun and the word little we can call describing words. Now I'll tell you describing words are an adjective. Describing words को हम adjective कहते हैं. Adjective कैसे find करते हैं? Yes, noun को जो word describe कर रहा है, उसे हम कहते हैं adjective. So, the word little is an adjective. And the word acorn is called a noun. Mosi. तो poem में mosi bad. तो the word bad is a noun. And mosi is called the describing word. Next, deep earth. The word earth is a noun. Deep is called a describing word. Next, thread like root. The word root is a noun. And thread like is called a describing word. Next, tiny shoot. The word shoot is a noun. Tiny is called the describing word. Now, next, slender branches. Branches are called noun. And slander is called a describing word. Next, wide branches. Branches are called a noun. Wide is called describing words. Now, next, mighty oak tree. Oak tree is a noun. And mighty is called a describing word. Now, let's see again all question and answers. I am drilling two times and you all. Are drilling with me. Okay. Now let's see number one. Name the tree that the acorn grows into. I'll speak answer two times. An acorn grows into the oak tree. An acorn grows into the oak tree. Now number two. What things does a seed need to grow? Seed ko grow karne ke liye kaun si cheez chahiye? Let's see the answer. A seed needs water, sunlight, soil and moisture to grow. I repeat answer number two. 
a seed needs water, sunlight, soil and moisture to grow. Next number 3. How many describing words can you find in this poem? I will give you the answer of question number 3. Let's see following are the describing words in this poem. Little, mossy, deep, thread like, tiny, slender, wide, mighty. I repeat following are the describing words in this poem. Little, mossy, deep, thread like, tiny, slender, wide, mighty. So here the topic reading is fun completed. Now let's see next topic talk time. Yes. In this talk time, in your textbook, everybody look at your textbook. Look at the two pictures. Here there are two pictures are given. That pictures of trees. Here there are two trees given. Find four things that are different about these trees and talk about them. Here you have four different differences. मतलब कि यहाँ पे जो दो tree दिए हैं, उनके four difference find करने हैं। ये trees के बारे में हैं। And talk about them. And we will talk about both the trees. So let's see. आप यहाँ पे देख सकते हो कि ये first tree है, उसमें happy face दिया है। जो यहाँ वाला, जो second tree है, उसमें sad face दिख रहा है। और आप देख सकते हो कि ये tree में vegetables है, fruits है, vegetables है, fruits है, nest है, medicines है। मतलब picture one में जो tree है, वो हमें सब कुछ देता है। और जो picture two है, tree का, उसमें nest है, वो damaged है, कोई fruits नहीं दिख रहा है, vegetables नहीं दिख रहा है, और इस tree में sad face है। ठीक है, so picture one, I'll give you all this. मतलब ये tree कह रहा है कि मैं आपको सब कुछ देता हूँ. And picture two में जो tree है, what do you give me? Picture two में जो है tree, वो हमें कहता है कि आप मुझे क्या देते हो? What do you give me? Okay, so let's see the difference between both the trees. So I'll tell you difference number one. The tree in picture one is happy. तो यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हो कि happy face है। इसलिए जो picture one में tree है, वो कैसा दिख रहा है? Happy. Now the tree in picture two is sad and crying. तो picture two में जो tree है, वो sad दिख रहा है and वो cry कर रहा है। ऐसा दिख रहा है। Let's see again the tree in picture 1 is happy, the tree in picture 2 is sad and crying. Now let's see difference number 2. The tree in picture 1 is giving a lot to us humans. Jo picture 1 mein jo tree hai, wo hume bohot sara deta hai. Hume matlab ki human beings ko, people ko. So the tree in picture 1 is giving a lot to us. Humans, मतलब humans को बहुत सारी चीजें देता है ये picture one में जो tree है वो। तो यहाँ पे देखे medicines दे रहे हैं, vegetables, fruits, ये सारी things हमें tree देता है और wood वो भी देता है। Next, the tree in picture two is not getting anything from us. मतलब हमारे पास से picture टू में जो ट्री है, उनको कुछ मिलता नहीं है, ठीक है? The tree in picture two is not getting anything from us. Let's repeat difference between number two. The tree in picture one is giving a lot to us humans. The tree in picture two is not getting anything from us. Now let's say difference number 3. The nest in picture 1 is proper in shape. So the nest in picture 1 is proper in shape. So, see, picture 1 mein jo nest dikh raha hai, 
वो शेप में प्रॉपर है ना नेक्स्ट ट्री द नेक्स्ट इन पिक्चर टू इज डेमेज बाय अस तो आप देख सकते हो कि जो सेकेंड वाला ट्री है उसमें हमने ही नेस्ट को डेमेज कर दिया है ठीक है तो यह पिक्चर यहाँ पे दिया है सो आप इजीली देख सकते हो ना आई रिपीट डिफरेंस बिटवीन नंबर थ्री द नेक्स्ट इन पिक्चर वन इज प्रॉपर इन शेप द नेक्स्ट इन पिक्चर टू इज डेमेज बाय अस ना आई टेल यू लास्ट डिफरेंस डिफरेंस नंबर फोर द ट्री इन पिक्चर वन इज लेडन विथ fruits laden means fill up okay so picture one mein jo tree hai wo fruits se bhara hua hai even vegetables even medicines okay so everything would be give us hame bahut kuch deta hai picture one mein jo tree hai wo so the tree in picture one is laden with fruits The tree in picture two does not have even a single fruit. मतलब कि जो दूसरा tree है उसमें एक single fruit भी नहीं दिख रहा है The tree in picture two does not have even a single fruit. वो हमें एक single fruit भी नहीं देता है Okay? So now I repeat. All four difference between these two trees. The tree in picture one is happy. The tree in picture two is sad and crying. Difference number two. The tree in picture one is giving a lot to us humans. The tree in picture two is not getting anything from us. The tree in picture one is proper in shape. The next in picture two is damaged by us. Now, last difference I'll tell you. The tree in picture one is laden with fruits. The tree in picture two does not have even a single fruit. तो यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हो कि हमने जो difference between देखे हैं, तो यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हो कि happy face दिख रहा है. ये सेड फेस दिख रहा है इसमें वेजिटेबल्स मेडिसिन फ्रूट्स तो इसमें सिर्फ नेस्ट है वो डैमेज दिख रहा है वो डैमेज हमने ही किया है तो हमें सीखना मिलता है कि इसमें से हमें ट्री को डैमेज नहीं करना चाहिए हमें कट नहीं करना चाहिए हमें उसको वाटर देना चाहिए ठीक है उसकी अच्छी तरह से केयर करनी चाहिए और तो ट्री हमें बहुत कुछ देता है ठीक है नाउ हियर द टॉपिक टॉप टाइम इज कंप्लीटेड आभार 